Hey guys, I'm going to attempt to show you guys how I spoof, but there are some things that we need to do first. So let's go into settings. Let's scroll down until we see about phone. Let's click on that and then go into software info. I am running Android 7. This is one of my older phones. Um, and Android 7 is the only platform that I know how to spoof on. So if you do not have an Android 7 phone, please stop watching. I don't know how to help you. Okay, so for those who do still have an Android 7 phone floating around their house, um, this is the easiest way. So once you're already into the screen, your software info, do you see this build number right here? I need you to click on that nine times. That is going to open developer options. And then once that is opened, let's just back out of this for now. And okay, and then we are going to go. Now let's go to the Play Store. And this is when, at the time that I need you to go ahead and download Pokemon Go. And I need you to download, um, What's it called? Okay. It's called Fake GPS Route. It does cost money. It's like $3.99. But it is worth $3.99 every day of the week. So once you have that um, downloaded and installed, then we're going to back out of this. And then we're going to go into the settings in the Play Store. And we are going to make sure that we have the ask me every time or do not automatically update. Because if you have the automatic updates over there on, you can be in the middle of spoofing. And the next thing you know, your phone's updated and you got a uh, fail to detect 12, which means that's a soft ban. Get out. Okay. So we've done that, we've done that. All right, now what I need you to do is go back into settings. Sorry for jumping around, but this is how my brain works. We're gonna go into apps. We're going to go into Google Play Services. Okay, and as you can see, my Google Services is 20.24.14 040306. So from there, what you need to do is you're, you're going to have to downgrade your Google services. So you're going to have to go into whichever phone thing you're going to do. Um, and you're going to type in 12.6.87 and then your specific last six digits. Um, that six digits in the start of the parentheses. Now, because I already have all the stuff installed on my phone, I also know that if you have 040306, it does not exist. So for those of you that have matching um, six digit numbers, I need you to Google 12.6.87040304. That does exist. And then from there, you're going to click on it, the APK mirror, maybe, it's running really slow, sorry guys. Okay. And then you're going to scroll and scroll and scroll until you see this download APK. Download that APK for me, guys. And that's pretty much the only thing that you have to do um, like on the Internet. So once you have that installed, go back into settings. Whoops. Go into your apps again. Go into Google Play Services, and you're going to hit the three little buttons at the top here, and you're going to uninstall updates, and you're going to hit OK. Now, 
right here, it says can't uninstall because this package is an active device administrator. So what you're going to need to do is click on this manage device administrators and you're going to click on click off find my device. Let's go ahead and deactivate that. And then now you're going to click your little three buttons again, hit uninstall updates and press OK. And sorry for the glare from the light overhead, but this is like my best room to film in. Okay, and then that go ahead that went ahead and downgraded me to 12.2.21436. So from there, what I need you to do is go into your downloads, wherever your downloads go on your phone, because every phone is different. And then that APK that you downloaded. Oh, sorry guys. Before we do that, what I need you to do is go back into settings. My bad, my bad. Um, and then I need you to go into, is it security? And then I need you to make sure that the unknown sources is highlighted on, on. So that way you can download that mirror APK. Sorry guys. Okay, so now let's go back into our file folder, our downloads, wherever it is on your particular phone, and let's bring up that 12.6.87. And then from there, it's gonna say staging app. You're gonna let it work its mojo. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and hit install. And by the way, I have not rooted my phone. My phone is not rooted. I don't know how to root, and I do not want to root a phone if I'll just end up messing it up. Okay, so the app is installed. We're going to go ahead and hit done. All right, now... Let's go ahead and open our fake GPS route up. And then let's go ahead and go into the settings of that. All right, and then make sure you have no root mode selected. Wait dialog, no root mode selected. And then you absolutely need to have this turned on so you can use the joystick controller in the um, fake GPS route. And then I just left the metric system on because Pokemon Go runs on metric system. So, and then hold position when finished. I always have that on um, because I find that if you make a route um, to go from like point A to point B, like in the app, um, that does a fail to detect. I don't know why, but spoofing is, is it's a gamble anyway. So once you have that done, then um, pick a spot in the world that you want to go. So actually... Let's take you guys to, let's go to Spain. I like to go to Spain because it has a shit ton of Pokestops. And then I'm actually, this GPS coordinate is actually set back from all of the Pokestops. And you're going to go ahead and press and hold on the screen until marker one comes up. And then you're going to hit play. And then this is going to be your wait screen. Once this wait screen goes down, that's when you know it is safe to open up Pokemon Go. And of course this takes a while, so.
older phone takes a little bit longer to get in, but it's totally worth it. I mean, you guys are spoofing, so it's not like you have anything else better to do right now than to wait for your phone to load. Okay, but this is a bit ridiculous. Okay, so... We are in. Oh, shit. I'm apparently hatching eggs. Most of these are from England. I'm trying to get a Mime Junior. But, of course, that's probably not going to happen. Guys, I just hatched a Mime Junior. Holy shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so freaking excited! Okay, okay, that's not why we're here. Okay. Sorry, I had to wait for all my stupid eggs to hatch. So, now that we're in actual Spain, the first thing y'all want you to do is spin a Pokestop. Damn it, my freaking item bag is always full. How many things do I need to delete? I need to delete 42 items. So, I'm just not going to delete anything right now because I actually had my, um... The big, you know, Pokemon thing. So we're going to do the other test, maybe. And that is to try to catch a Pokemon. Doesn't matter what your first Pokemon is. The first one in your screen, try to catch it. Um, if you... There you go. Okay, if you are here and you throw... A Pokeball at a Pokemon, it goes into the ball and then comes out and then flees. That means that you are um, on a soft ban. Okay, so is this $3.99 program worth it? First of all, let's move my thing over. Okay, everybody knows that this is your little Pokemon, tells you where you're looking at. So this little button right here, the button in the middle allows you to set oh look it actually matches it allows you to set your directional joystick to match the pokemon direction so it's actually really really close let's just actually move it just a wee bit and we're going to hit set and then this little line this little bar right here it slides and that's how far you're going to walk I never have it fully um, there because I've tried it to be fully all the way to the right. And when I do that, it, I get a fail to detect. So to move, you just move your little joystick up. And if I did things right, no, we're just not going to work. All right, let's see. Because I want to get over here to where all those pokey stops are. Okay, so the screen's going to pop up. It's going to circle, circle, circle. And then hopefully if I did things right, after this goes down, you will actually start to walk across the screen. It's a little bit tedious to have to go like this, but if you're looking for specific Pokemons, it is definitely worth, you know, to catch Tropius 
out in the wild and a Mr. Mime out in the wild, a Siglyph, you know, all the regionals, your, your heart kind of starts to race a little bit when they come up on the screen. But as you can see, this $3.99 program um, works just fine. And then, of course, this is uh, in Spain, and all these Pokestops usually always have, um, not incense, but um, lures. There's always a bunch of lures on these Pokestops. And you can actually get lost in the middle of them, because there's a butt ton. Oh, look. Are you serious? I'm already on a ban? Alright, let's see if we can... It's always glitchy. Wow, that was horrible. Okay, you guys see how he did not run? That means you are good to go. If you spin a Pokestop and you get items, you're good to go. If you have a Pokemon on your screen, you throw the ball at them, and they do not run after your first ball, you are good to go. So I really hope this video helps anybody that has an Android 7 phone learn how to spoof. Because it's actually the easiest thing on the planet, and it's like a one-time purchase of $3.99, or maybe it's $4.99. But anyway, there we go. Pansier was caught. Thank you so very much. And then, other than finding regionals, it is literally the same all over the world. You get the same Pokemon that appear over and over again. But I also do, I call it catch and release. I go and catch, you know, a butt ton of Pokemon for the day, just for the Stardust. And then at the end of the day, because this is my spoofer account, I just go, usually dump them all, just for the candies. And then all the regional Pokemons that I want, I have made sure that I am friends with my regular account. So that way I can trade with myself. And you just catch away. Oh, and then also a little tip. Don't stay in one place too long. So after you catch like, you know, four or five Pokemon in one spot, just go ahead and hit your little joystick controller. Let your automatic screen come up. And then just walk to your little next location. So I hope you guys find this helpful. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. I will do my best to answer them. But like I said, this only works for Android 7. Um, if it's any other Android system on your phone, I can't help you. I don't know what I'm doing. And this is also the no root method. So happy spoofing, guys.